Good morning world! I hope everyone is doing very well. For today's video, I figured I would do something also a little different and do more of a vlog style. And also for today's video, we have a very, very special guest. Mama Hi. Angela! Hello everyone! This is Angela. my mom. My mom Angela. And today she's gonna be teaching us how to make a very healthy Tex-Mex style burrito bowl with the shell. So without further ado, we're gonna get right into it. Because today is a special day. <laughs> it's a Dominican Mother Day. Yeah, I wanna teach my daughter how to do healthy food, how do I take care of her. So you wonder why is the Dominican mother making a Tex-Mex style <laughs> burrito bowl? It's actually one of her favorites. There's a local Tex-Mex restaurant and um, we figured we would try to recreate it too. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the first step, we're actually going to be using some brown rice. And if you are Dominican, you already know what this is. We actually call them bailas, which is um, a pot uh, that we use back home. I would like to know if you are Hispanic or in any other country, doesn't matter if it's in Latin America or not, what do you call these? Leave them in the comment down below. But in DR, we actually call them bailas. So we actually are going to be cooking the rice there today. And do you want to tell us exactly how to do that? Yes. In my mom's house, we named that too caldero. Caldero, rice yeah. caldero. Yeah, yes. this is the only one we're using for cooking rice. So let's go to the process. Okay, so first, what do you do? I'm going to put a little water, a little, little, little bit of water. Like how much water? Uh, I, this looks like it's one, so mm -hmm. I don't put more than one cup of water. So one cup of water to one cup of rice? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to put the water to boiling in this too and it's boiling so we're going to put the rice over there yes all right so first we leave the water to boil mm -hmm. and then we put the rice to cook so usually for how long do we leave the rice cooking uh, about 30 minutes 30 minutes uh-huh okay perfect and then after that what do we do we're going to get ready for the meat, the ground chicken. Okay, perfect. So while we leave the water boiling and then we put the rice to cook, we're going to start with the meat. Yes. All right, so as you can see, we have the water and the rice cooking right here and there. The good thing about this one, and we kind of cheated a little bit, <laughs> it's the fact that it has the corn and a lot of the seasonings in it. Um... We did have another option of just brown rice, but we figured this one also adds a little bit touch of like extra flavor. So yeah, I hope it's really, really yummy. So for the chicken, because we actually want to use chicken. Unfortunately, this is not a beef household. My mom doesn't like beef, so she usually sticks to either chicken or turkey. Um, so for today's choice is actually going to be ground chicken. So we are going to go ahead and prep the seasoning for it and have it have a really nice flavor. So let's take a look. All right, so the next step you have to show to the camera. What are we using? So Sazon Ranchero. Uh, wait, turn it more this way. There we go. She's also getting used to this. Uh, Sazon Criollo. This is actually a Dominican brand, I believe. And she's just gonna go ahead and pour it to the chicken. Of course, if you guys have a preferred method of seasoning meat, you can use that one as well. We're just showing you what we do to cook um, our chicken. But yeah, after that, we also add a little bit of oregano. And yes, if you guys notice, I'm the one filming, she's the one cooking and I get to eat, which is one of the perks of when mom cooks. <laughs> Okay, so one of the things that mom is just stating should never, ever, ever miss from seasoning chicken is lime. She loves lime, not lemon. We don't do lemon. We do lime. So it has to be Made it clean. nice and clean. And 
we're just going to squeeze a line in the chicken. Gives it a nice citrusy flavor. It's so good. Yes. No, no, that thing is guiding. The next step, garlic. Right, so something she does like to add in just a tiny, tiny little bit of it is uh, caldo sabor a pollo, which I think in English is chicken bouillon. Yes. Well, I mean, I'm reading the, I'm not, I'm sorry. The box is right there. That just came out of my mind and I did not read the box. Um, but yes. Uh, so we just add a tiny little bit of chicken bouillon and it adds a touch of more flavor. So for the chicken bouillon, she only adds a half of, um, of the little pack and then she puts it to saute with a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. If you guys also notice, I am using my Canon M50, which I'm very excited about. This is the very first video I shoot with it. And so far, I think the quality looks super nice. Of course, I need to learn all the tips and tricks. Also, if you, if you guys hear in the background, she just keeps cleaning everything. She has to clean as she goes. So now, I want to put onion. She's going to add onions to it. So only like half an onion. Uh huh. Okay, perfect. Yeah, she has a tendency, she cleans as she cooks, which I think is a good habit. That way you don't have like a whole bunch of dishes to do afterwards. You know, you kind of just do them as you go. And what's better when you finish eat and relax? And relax, yeah. She doesn't <laughs> like to deal with anything after she's done eating. Okay, so now she's going ahead and mixing the ground chicken with the garlic and oregano powder. A lime. And the lime juice. So she only did half a lime. The half, we will leave it for something else later on. Mm -hmm. That's great. Now, we're going to do lo que se sofrío. So now she's going to put it into the pan with the onions and the bouillon and olive oil to saute. So as you can see, the rice is already getting nice and dry. You don't want to let it too dry. You don't want to let it get too dry either, but... No, porque ahora yo lo voy a poner a fuego lento a que se termine de cocer. So what she's stating is that she's going to put it on a very low heat to let it finish cooking. So... Yeah. Yeah, very low heat. And then just let it finish cooking there. Okay, so for color, she's adding these little mini peppers. And then she's also adding a jalapeno pepper to add some spice, because we love spicy. So we're just going to go ahead and cut these up, and then we will add them to the meat.
before. It's not really exactly pico de gallo because obviously a lot of the ingredients we've added to, to the meat. We are just going to do green peppers and then half of the oregano. The other half we did put cilantro. in the kitchen. <laughs> Sorry, cilantro. I apologize. Not oregano. Cilantro. We put half of the cilantro in the chicken and then this one we're going to add to the green peppers along with um, tomato and then the other half of the lime that we had before. Ahora. A eso yo le pongo la mitad del limón para marinarlo un poquito. So she's adding half of the lime to the pepper and cilantro. That way they can start soaking up a lot of that lime flavor. All right, so chicken is done. And then the rice is almost done. And then um, this is almost done. We just have to chop up the um, tomatoes. We've also decided that we're going to add a little bit of cucumber. Again, this is not 100% uh, recreation um, from the bowl that she likes to eat. We're just basically trying to add more of the stuff that we like and try to do it in their style. But yes, we're going to add some cucumber to add some freshness to it. I love a good snap of a good cucumber. And then we've also set the oven to heat um, so we can start putting the tortilla bowls in there. We're not going to fry them, which makes it so much better. Um, we're going to put them in, in, um, in these little containers and then we're going to put them to bake for a little bit. Probably, I would say, maybe like, what, 10 minutes? Maybe 10. Maybe, maybe 10 to 15. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take tortilla wraps. We also get the um, the whole grain ones, like the nine grains and seeds. So we get just a little bit more fiber. So we are just going to put them in here so they can actually get a little bowl shape. So yeah, she, so she's saying obviously because of our situation, she couldn't go out to her restaurant, sit down and have the restaurant experience and sure we will order from them, do not worry. Um, but we wanted to create some content for the channel and then show you basically her cooking. It is her day, but I get to eat all the stuff. So that's usually how it works. All right, so we've put the bowls in the oven. We are going to let them cook in there for about 10 to 15 minutes at 325, 325 degrees. And then we will come back and check on them later. Okay, so now we're just cutting up the cucumbers and then the tomato. because you cannot have anything like this without a nice aguacate, an avocado. We're just going to go ahead and get this peeled, get it diced, get it here, and then in our bellies. course if you like wok please add wok I love wok just mom is very peculiar I'm going to add a little bean so she's adding some pepper. peppers 
cilantro. The other one going over here. It's all going to the same place. I think right about now it's just a matter of presentation. Olive oil. That's it. And in that one, I like to put oregano. So now, the bowls are nice and ready. Oh my gosh, do you guys see? brown color let me start taking them out so as you guys can see they're nice and golden they're nice also and hard they're gonna keep their shape so now ingredients assemble no! that's just me being a geek I love marble so don't mind me all right, so first step is putting the rice in the bowl. So next step, the meat. And look yummy. Okay, so if you wanna add some cheese in there, you can. Mom likes mozzarella and provolone. It's not very... Tex-Mex, but it's for me. It's what she likes. And then we're gonna add the aguacate. The avocado. And the final step, and this is optional, it's up to you, but I love some hot sauce. This is one of my favorites. I love Cholula. I can definitely go spicier for sure, but I love the taste of this one. So we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of that. So for mine, we're adding some hot sauce because I love that. All right, and this is it. This is our recreation of my mom's favorite Tex-Mex bowl. Of course, it's a little different than the original, um, but it looks so yummy and I cannot wait to dig in. All right, guys, so this is it. That was our recreation of a Tex-Mex bowl. Um, thank you so much to my mom for cooking, even though it's her day. Usually Dominican Mother's Day, it's every last Sunday of may it's the last sunday of may so we're just gonna go ahead and dig in thanks so much mom thank you so much guys for watching if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up subscribe and ring the bell and leave me a comment below letting me know what you would like to see next until next time i love you bye we love you